So in some of these techniques, we've been selectively sharpening and selectively blurring for uh, different effects, but uh, in Camera Raw Filter, we can actually paint on effects, and I'll show you what I mean. So go ahead and open up princess.jpg, and I'm going to still work on a duplicated layer. So press Control or Command J, and then go to Filter, then Camera Raw Filter. And up at the top, if you see this little paint brush icon, uh, the adjustment brush, or you just press K on the keyboard, if you select that and it kind of is an interesting cursor here, right? And you look over here, and a lot of these are the same effects that we've been going over from the basics panel. Exposure, tint, temperature, contrast, highlights, uh, saturation, for example. Then we also have some sharpness in there uh, from the other tab. So what this is, is uh, you can press the left and right bracket to resize, of course. Or you can adjust it down at the bottom here. You can also feather the edge and affect the flow and the density, but uh, what this is, is let's say you wanted to add some kind of effect to this area, and you wouldn't want to add it to the entire photo. So instead of applying it and then applying a mask and then painting on the mask to show through selectively, we can actually just paint on with the adjustment brush. So I'll show you what I mean. We have new selected here. Uh, let's change, uh, let's say exposure bring up a little bit. Alright, so if you click and drag on the face, whoa, that doesn't look good, right? So we changed the exposure and it really messed up, but let's do highlights. Okay, bring the temperature down a little bit. Alright, so I've adjusted the temperature a little bit on her face, uh, adjusted the exposure a little bit, and let's go to sharpness and just really bring the sharpness up a little bit. If you click mask, it'll show you where that effect has apply, been applied so far. So then uncheck it there. All right, so that's the first one. If you click new, that'll create a new one. So let's say we have an area, let's just paint on her hair a little bit. And let's bring clarity up a lot. All right, just for the fun of it, just to show. All right, don't want the clarity in the face, but let's just say on the, the hair here. All right. Every time we want to add a new area that has certain effects applied right over here, we just have new selected here. And you can also hover over these areas. So if I hover over this, it actually shows me where that effect is being applied, that kind of hazy hue there. And if I hover over here, so here's a face one, and then there's a hair. So if I s click it, so if I actually click it, then I hit Erase. What I can do is when I paint in, it will erase from that effect. All right, so now when I go and click on that again, it will show me. And if I hover over it, see now that I've erased a certain part of it, that it's uh, not affecting this area anymore because I erased that. So there's new if you want to add a new area to affect, and then if you want to add to a certain area, let, let me just click this. You got to hover over the pin when it turns into that area, and then click it. And then you can keep it on add by default and it will add to that area. So now if I hit mask, now you'll see all this area is like not just the face. All right. If you, let me hover over this one again. If we want to add back to this one, we can paint that back in. So we can add new pins by selecting new and that will add new areas to effect with more adjustments, whether it be sharpness or lighting or color or contrast. We can add to areas that are already here. We can also erase from current areas. So once we're done, we just click OK, and it'll take a second to apply all those changes, and then there we go. So there's before, and then there's after. So it's pretty neat because we can add these effects without having to worry about necessarily masking out areas and going to many different panels in Photoshop for image adjustments. We can just go to the camera raw filter and apply contrast and lighting adjustments and hue saturation adjustments and sharpening adjustments to specific areas with different pins. And we can add to and subtract from those areas by selecting them. Because sometimes we don't want to add a hue saturation adjustment to the entire photo. Uh, we just want to sharpen or adjust the lighting or the hue saturation in specific areas. And that's a pretty quick and neat way to do that.